States and next year outside of the United States. Well, let's talk about this beautiful day we're having today mm -hmm. and something special happening right now. As a matter of fact, yeah, there should be some lights going on somewhere, mm -hmm. right? The National Christmas tree. Look at that. That is beautiful. Very nice. A lot of blue in that picture this year. <laughs> and what you said this is just a, a mere 26 feet compared to the old one, which was 40 feet. Still looks uh, plenty big and uh, plenty beautiful. Nice clear night in Washington, D.C. Also very nice around here today. We had a system of high pressure that really helped us out. Power 5 Doppler radar network not picking up any precipitation. Things really very quiet around here tonight. However, by the morning hours, things are going to change. Let's go to the big board weather maps. We're looking at some temperatures. Temperatures that are not all that bad for this time of the year. Our normal high should be 44. And we saw temperatures that were in the low 40s today. Right now, most of the readings out there mid 30s. Still pretty comfortable considering where it could be. 36 for Elyria. Brexit at 35. It's 33 in Hiram, a little cooler in Limeville with 32 degrees there, 34 for Medina, as well as Barberton and Worcester checking in now with 35 degrees. Once again, high pressure kept us mostly clear today, kept the air a little on the cool side. We've got this next front approaching. I don't think it's much of a front. It's pretty weak. However, I think it is strong enough to pick up a little bit of lake effect. So the primary snow belt, Lake Giaga, Ashtabula counties, as well as the eastern portion of Cuyahoga counties by early tomorrow morning could see a little bit in the way of snowfall. It's going to be a fast moving system, so we're not looking at uh, much in the way of accumulation. For tonight, pretty quiet though overnight, uh, mostly cloudy skies with a low of about 30 degrees. Tomorrow, that isolated mix again just for the primary snow belt and uh, a morning event, a quick event, probably occurring between about 9 30 and 11 a.m. Then it'll be all gone. So a little bit of an isolated mix for tomorrow for some of us, a high temperature of about 39 for Cleveland. Akron, we're going to keep you dry for tomorrow, getting up to a high of about 40 degrees overnight tonight. Mostly cloudy skies with an overnight low of 27. We do have some moisture coming that is going to stick around for something of a while. Now, Saturday is going to be dry. Saturday, we're looking at mostly cloudy skies with an expected high of 50. So temperature's pretty nice. As we get into Sunday, rain very likely for us. We'll see a high 55, but rain, a pretty good likelihood even during the Browns game which starts at 405 against the Ravens. Now the rain probably going to stick around for during the day on Monday. Tuesday we could see something of a mix. A few squalls lake effect in style for Wednesday and a couple of flurries headed our way for Thursday but many of us on Thursday will stay dry. So for tomorrow look for that isolated mix but again only in the primary snow belt the rest of us should see fairly dry conditions keeping it cool with an expected high of 39. Lee and Danita. Well, could Ohio land another big corporate headquarters? We have new information on what Sears is being offered to move here. Also at six, tis the season for giving, but